What's going on everybody? Workhorse did yesterday have a bit of selling pressure but we bought back perfectly around our support level. Hopefully you saw the video that we did last time. And look with me, the price is jumped around the 15.19. As I told you guys here, I loaded up actually at the, uh, around the price. We're gonna talk about what's going on for the put options and what we'll do for the price and the projection for price for the next week. As I said, happy 4th of July in, a, in advance because we're gonna see a three days uh, uh, like a big weekend uh, for us. That's why today, the Friday, we see gonna see a big volatility for trading sessions. Be careful. So let's get right to it. Plus the like button and let's see the shots. And look with me closely, guys. We bought back perfectly around the 15.19. And if we go to the Wahoo Finance, uh, the Pre-market is around the $15.34 and we yesterday we traded around the $15.64. If we go to the options uh, uh, and see how the volume like uh, going on for the volume for the put options, we see like a lot of uh, put options strike price around the 15, 15, 50, 16 around this technical area. That's why we see the price uh, went down uh, again. Test first around the 16 and then we dive below our explanation average let me uh, close up look look closely here we got uh, selling off a uh, triggered around the six dollar fifty whenever we got rejected and we never clear from our explanation average and that's why we went down to test our support here to see a buying pressure again and if we go in a big picture always go to the big picture guys to draw some kind of uh, um, like uh, to see the uh, at least was the price movement going on because when you get in in like really close you can uh, predict some uh, uh, price action but when you go to the big picture it give you a bit of uh, signals so look exactly we're still doing higher lows right now and uh, that's what i want to uh, expect for the price to do and we need to respect this ascending line first okay this is will be perfect and we need even if we dipped by today we need to see uh, look for the price to bounce really ha uh, like fast around the 1494 to go again to clear this massive resistance around expansion average here will be the turning point of uh, around the 16 if we dive uh, in the coming days or by today and another support that we can predict if we dipped from this ascending line the big buying pressure will happen around the 13.72 so be, uh, be careful from this level if we got a lot a lot of put options a lot of short sellers shorting we're gonna see uh, look uh, the price will have uh, gravitate around the 13.72 here we're gonna uh, predict some uh, uh, buying pressure will happen around this level but the perfect perfect scenario if we still holding the 15.19 guys this is important level to hold to uh, to overcome this resistance around our expansion average and if we uh, close by today this is the most important level if we tested today above uh, the 16 and close at least around the 1680 so we set them center for the market to go to test the massive massive rejection 18.8 18. and again the 18.18 .18, if we have a clear off and closing candle even one hour candle above here we're gonna see the 22.60 this is the massive rejection area before the 18.18 because we already predict uh, the price that will have rejection uh, around the 18.18 because we already did it here once twice and this is the third time so we have triple top and that's why we have a, a massive rejection happening around this technical area and we got back here so uh, the, um, the box will be around this level any stock have a box guys 
this the box of uh, is still uh, the sign of recharging of the rocket even if we got the rejection around the 1818 we still uh, are like uh, consolidating around this box is still not a sell off or a sign of weakness we still uptrending because if you take it in a big picture kind of way is we overextended this uh, when we got uh, the buying pressure from the 7th at the 25 uh, 25th of may we got big big parabolic buying pressure you see this is not healthy so now the price need a bit of recharging need a bit of consolidation before we have another parabolic uh, buying pressure around the 22 and the 29 uh, it's not healthy guys to go up fast or down fast uh, the market need to consolidate the market need to see a base of uh, price action and the market maker uh, usually they buy with bulk they buy with millions guys billions so this is not uh, uh, good for them to uh, to uh, to have the price go parabolic up because they know the price will gravitate down a lot of people take a profit so this is normal psychology guys the box we should hold the more more fit, uh, perfect uh, price we hold the support that i told you guys and we never bro break from the ascending line to see uh, the momentum go uh, take us to 1818 really fast if not we're gonna gravitate around the 13 dollars 50 something as i, sh I show you in a video put the prices on the sheet of paper act upon them catch your emotion and let's get ready to hunt see you guys in the next video